guys. Okay, so um, I'm Coach Tara. If you don't know me, I'm a full-time ketogenic diet coach. This is what I do all day, every day. Coach people through keto. I've been doing it for years. I run online keto boot camps. I have keto programs and one-on-one -on -one ketogenic clients as I eat, breathe, and live the research and the science and coaching this day in and day out. And today I wanted to tackle three of the most common misconceptions that I see in around the ketogenic diet. And the first one is the misconception that being in a state of ketosis means you are losing weight. That is not how it works. So what I mean by that is you prick your finger, you get a ketone reading, and you've been told 0 0.5 or above is ketosis, which is what we consider nutritional ketosis. But you, in your head, you have adopted the belief that that means that that must be coming from your own body fat and it is like an indicator, the higher the number, I mean, I must be burning more body fat and that is not how it works. You could be in getting, having ketone numbers, you know, being in a state of ketosis from fats that you're eating now. So like, let's say you've gotten into ketosis, that's great. And you just ate like four tablespoons of coconut oil <laughs> and a big old fatty steak with butter and all these things, which is great. That's great. It's part of a ketogenic diet. Your ketone numbers could be reflective of some of the fats that you're metabolizing from the food that you ate, not necessarily from your body fat. So does keto help you train your body how to run off your own body fat stores for fuel? Yes, but it's not an indicator. That number could be from food. It could be from your own body fat. You can't know that. Actually, you kind of can know it because if you've been eating tons, boatloads of fat from food, probably it's coming from that. And if you've been at a calorie deficit, it's probably having to break up your own fat stores and use those for fuel and turn those into ketones instead. So just remember that. And the reason I want people to understand this is because people get defeated if they like drop down to 0 0.2, 0 0.3 or low. It's like, oh, now I'm not losing weight. Yes, you could still lose weight. Okay, you just may not have ketone circulating in your blood at that very moment. So do not get defeated by that and do not think higher is better. Higher is not necessarily better. You could at any random moment be using more ketones to bring your brain, fuel your brain or your muscles or something else in your body. So don't get caught up on the numbers and don't believe the thought that like having higher ketone numbers means that you're burning more body fat off. It doesn't work like that. Okay. The second Second biggest misconception, I hope that you have learned this by now, but drinking a drink, drinking some sort of ketone drink or some stupid pill like keto fat burner pills or something like that or some keto meal replacement shake that's like burns fat, that is not that you don't drink that and it makes you burn your fat off. They are not fat burners. Fat burners don't work anyway unless you want to look at it in a really roundabout way. It's usually a gimmick. You don't drink a ketone drink, and I will say specifically ketone um, salts, so the ketone mix powder drinks, you know, a lot of times you'll be taught, this will put you in a state of ketosis and it will help you burn your fat. That is not how it works. You will technically be in a artificial state of nutritional ketosis because you literally just put ketones in your blood and they will stay there for maybe a couple hours and then they will be gone. So um, it, you don't drink the drink and then that somehow magically just starts burning your body fat off. Doesn't work like that, okay? Um, but I still am a fan of ketone supplements, definitely. I love ketone esters, I love ketone salts as brain food, as body energy, as um, something to be a little bit of an appetite suppressant or energy boost between meals. When you're adapting to ketosis and this is new to you, they can be really helpful for that, for helping you have some energy while your body's getting used to making its own ketones, okay? So I'm not against them, I'm just against the marketing gimmicks of, this is gonna make you burn your fat off. It doesn't work like that, you still gotta work. You still gotta make the hard changes if you're gonna use up your fat. It's not comfortable to go without things that you're used to having. It's not, but if you wanna make those hard changes and you want more for yourself in your life, you gotta make those hard changes. And you can, you absolutely can. You are a powerful, powerful being and you can do it, okay. And the last one that floats around um, in the ketogenic world, that I guess it's not, it's not mostly a rumor, but it's something that I see people don't get is um, when you're, when you're adapting to keto and you feel like crap the first few days because you've never done something like this before, there's this perception of this isn't working for me. This isn't, my body doesn't like this. Well, your body doesn't like it because one, you could be doing it wrong, but two, because your body's not used to doing it and you're adapting right now and you're doing something hard. Your body probably also wouldn't like going and running a five minute mile right now. That'd be really hard for your body <laughs> because your body's not adapted to that. Your body's not used to being able to do that. So 
those first that first week if you've never gone super crazy low carb like this it's probably going to be hard it's probably going to be hard but sometimes we do hard things in the name of self love when we know that we need it right and if your body can't easily switch into a state of ketosis that's a problem with your metabolism you should be able to do that it shouldn't be hard so if it is hard that's a good indicator for you that you need to do it even more it's not self-harm it's wow my body really freaking needs this because once you have done it future times when you go to do it again ask anybody you know who's done keto before how hard is it for them the second third fourth time around when they've gone out of ketosis and they get back in they're like it's easy now but the first ask them how it was the first time it was probably pretty hard because their body isn't used to knowing what to do when it runs out of incoming glucose and if you're hangry a lot you really freaking need to do keto you should not be getting like that you should be able to run out of incoming carbohydrates and your body's like, I know what to do. I'll just go in and use this body fat and start metabolizing that for energy, right? So it should become easier. So one, there's a few ways you can troubleshoot that. I'm getting ready to make another video on that, on how to troubleshoot keto flu is what they call it and how to get that through that first week and make it easier. But just know that just because it's hard doesn't mean it's not good for you. And in fact, if it is hard, it's probably the most good for you. <laughs> you probably need it the most. So um, those are my three tips on things that I see that people have some misconceptions on keto around. Go ahead and check out my other videos. If you want help with keto, this is what I do full time. Hit me up. My my, uh, my website is coachterragarrison.com. Um, I wrote, run keto boot camps on the first of every single month. So if you want to do an online virtual boot camp, those are really fun. We do prizes and giveaways. Um, and it's, it's fun to have that competitive atmosphere. I also coach women only one-on-one -on -one, and we do a personal development component with that, which is super, super incredible. And then um, I also have a membership. It's called Keelio. So I teach you how to go into ketosis and how to come back out because I don't think anybody needs to be keto forever, but it's a really powerful tool on enhancing your metabolism. So um, yeah, check it out at coachterragarrison.com. And if not, I hope I'll see you guys on another video like this.